Hello, Radiant Ones. This is Chanel Washington, and I am bringing you a quick, quick, quick scope in the middle of the day. Um, and today we're just going to talk about three tips um, to improve your productivity, because why procrastinate? There's so much that we need to do and get done. This is my book, Radiant Living, How to Abide, Enjoy, Confidence, and Abundance. And if you are watching the replay welcome welcome thank you so much i can be um found on instagram at radiant living biz my website is radiant living dot biz and i'm just happy for uh those of you who have decided to connect with me uh welcome pavel pro um, you can throw up your hearts as you get your aha moments and let me know where you are checking in from. Hey, how are you? I did not uh, really plan on doing this today, but I just wanted to share uh, a few tips uh, on productivity because I was dealing with it today myself. Let me turn the camera around. And here I am. Hello, everyone. Hello. Um... We're going to get started and make this really quick because I have to finish uh, my task for today. Uh, again, my name is Chanel Washington. Thank you. Hey, Raquel. You guys see I'm trying to be cute without my glasses on, so we'll see <laughs> how this goes uh, because I get a glare from the camera when I wear my glasses. Um, anyway, I want to talk about why I procrastinate. Thank you. Mwah. Um, who is that? Y'all can see. That's Raquel. All right. So let's get started. I want to make this quick. This is going to be probably less than a 10 minute scope if you're watching. Okay, um, so get ready for this because we all are success minded individuals. Either you're a business owner, aspiring business owner, or there are things that you need to accomplish in your life. In my last uh, two scopes, I did a series for creating your radiant life plan and we talked about uh, goals. Okay. We broke down the ways that you can be uh, more successful, accomplish your goals faster. Thank you for the hearts mwah, and um, accomplish your goals more, much more faster. And right now, another thing that blocks us from that is procrastination. Uh, I tell everybody I'm seven months pregnant and I'm, I mean, I'm used to being a mover and a shaker and getting things done. And this baby girl has slowed me down. I am on her timetable. So after I got up this morning, uh, I ate breakfast. I had to go back to sleep. I could not really get up and get going till noon. I had to motivate myself, <laughs> put some makeup on, do my little updo just to get out and do some errands and finish what I needed to do. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you. Um, and again, you're watching Why Procrastinate. Um, three tips to getting things done. So we're going to just break this down because I have been very successful uh, in the past in learning how to stay focused and complete my tasks as an entrepreneur and business owner. So the first thing that I want to tell you, um, especially I'm noticing um, in this day and time with so many distractions with social media, other things, you have to remain focused. That's why it's important to write down your goals. You have to have a laser sharp focus do not allow the distractions to come in change the settings on your phone so that um, when you are in your periods of working on a project or things that should not be interrupted and doing your priorities uh, that you are not just picking up a phone answering a text sending an email getting on somebody's scope on their on your on the time where you're supposed to be committed to doing what you need to do so nobody's going to do this for you. Uh, you have to learn how to stay say no sometimes when you have to focus. Okay, so focus, a focused mindset is so important. Um, thank you for joining. Let me know where you're coming in from. Post your name, uh, where you're from, uh, so I can shout you out. Thank you so much. Uh, we're just talking about why procrastinate. Three tips. I've done the first tip, uh, and it's about a laser-focused mindset. Do not, hey Dusty Fletcher, do not allow other people to distract you from your goals and your focus. That's number one. Number two, the second thing is the 
piece that has helped me the most. And I want you to be able to jot this down. Um, it's actually a resource, an uh, outside resource. I've mentioned Brian Tracy and some of my other scopes. And on his website, all you have to do is Google this method because I want you to get the clear breakdown. And I'm going to make this a quick, quick scope and I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time breaking it down. It's called the A, B, C, D, E method. A, B, C, D, E method of productivity. Okay, and what it essentially does is it allows you to assign your task based on priority and importance. Uh, I always talk about my A1 task when I work with my accountability partner. What's your A1 task? That means the most critical task that if you do not do this task, there are serious consequences uh, for not getting it done. Okay, so that needs to be the first thing on your list. Okay, your A task, and then you can number them like A1, A2, A3. Then a B task may be something that is important, but it's not as critical as an A task. Um, a C task, nice to do that, something like having lunch with someone. You know, um, it, it's really no minimal consequences if you don't get it done. Thank you for all the hearts. Mwah, I'm loving it. Um, and then a D task. Now, this is where it gets important. It's something that you can delegate because you do not need to do everything on your own. Uh, why do we procrastinate? Uh, things that we're holding and holding and not getting it done, have a team, um, you know, definitely know how to delegate. And I teach a lot about that uh, in working with virtual assistants. My virtual assistants have been key to my success in my business, um, learning how to outsource, whether you're even a mom, you know, learning how to delegate certain things um, with your family or your children at work, knowing how to delegate, not being the person that has to take on everything. Okay. So delegation is very key and important. And the final part of that ABCDE method uh, from Brian Tracy is elimination. If it's been on your plate for too long, you're not doing it, it's no longer important to your goals, you've changed your strategy, exit off the list, okay? Very, 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 very important. The ABCDE method. So if you're gonna give this a try, Post yes in the comments. Let me know if this method sounds like something that's better than what you're doing currently. Uh, let me know. Okay. Uh, that was number two. So we talked about one, a focused mindset. We talked about two, um, the ABCDE method that I want you to Google, Brian Tracy, and you'll get that post on his website and get the breakdown of it. But essentially, it's what I explained. And the third thing that I want you to do that's really helped me um, instead of having a calendar over here, um, a pop ups, a list of things to do over here, um, you know, reminders coming in, you need a central place to keep all of your tasks. I like to keep my goals and my tasks for my plan to implement them nearby using the ABCDE method. Thank you so much for all the hearts, Raquel. I appreciate it. Um, you know, so if you have questions about productivity, you can start posting them now because we're going to wrap up soon. You know, why do you procrastinate? What are you procrastinating on today? What do you need to finish? This is Friday, so that's what made me come in to finish this, uh, to do this quick scope. Because there's some things that I've been allowing to stay on my plate too long. And they are A and B um, type tasks. And I'm just determined to get them done. Okay. So I want to give you that encouragement. I know it's something that everybody needs to be doing. Think about this. If it's something that I'm late on, is it going to impact my business? Is it going to cost me money? Is it going to put me at risk for something? You know, um, think about your goals. Again, what did I say that I was going to do? What am I committed to? And does my day reflect um, my commitments? Okay, because that's the only way that they're gonna, we're going to reach a certain level of success is developing this kind of discipline and productivity. And it is a skill uh, that if you remain focused, you learn how to prioritize and you begin to write down, um, write down your uh, list your things to do or your task list your priority I don't even like the word things to do because it's just kind of like you know you're not in control you know what is your priority task for today for the week for the month and you can continue updating on that same 
space. I like to do it in the notes section of my iPhone. You know, most of us have our phones in our hands for business, for personal use all the time. So I pull up a note and um, I may say ABC task or A1 task. I'll do S section A, B, C, D, E. And as things come in, I can place them there. That way your mind is not scattered. You're not like, oh, what am I supposed to be doing? You know, did I forget something? You can stay accountable on that task as you need to delegate things, as you need, to, as you um, poss possibly uh, eliminate things. Keep them all in one place. And I just want to give one more to just email you have to be strategic also with your email you should not be in your inbox every time somebody sends you an email um, that's something that I was able to master for my business in delegating that piece um, to my team and it, it's not something that you can just do just like that you have to do it you know in a strategic way for best results um, and to learn more about that go to my website it's radiantliving.biz. Um, if you want to get more tips from me on how to think like an MBA, there's a free download on my website, uh, radiantliving.biz. On Instagram, you can show me some love, post some comments if you're enjoying these scopes or what else you would like to see in the future. And that is radiantlivingbiz for uh, Instagram. And on Twitter, I am uh, radiantliving underscore just like scope so i promise this will be short thank you thank you so much for watching thank you for all the scopes and um i just want you to stay committed and do what you have to do why procrastinate this is chanel washington and uh, be radiantly beautiful i look forward to connecting with you the next time thanks for watching